What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Catherine. In the last episode, Vincent determined some sort of resolve, right? He had some semblance of an idea of what he wanted to do with his future, and is now going to take the steps to achieve that future. So, that's pretty exciting. However, he has quite the trial ahead of him tonight, so... What? You're going home already? So yeah, we've got to get home, you know... <laughs> You haven't really caught on, I've got this thing to do, I've got some stuff to take care of, you know, typically around midnight, 1am. I have something to do. Oh, I see. I'm going to stay and drink some more. Good night. You could hear, like, a little bit of tension, a little bit of anger in that. You know, I'm gonna stay and drink some more. Good night. You know, sort of like, a little bit of sass, a little bit of tone in there. And so now we are on the seventh night. No cutscene of Vincent having trouble sleeping or anything. Here. The spiral corridor is our locale tonight. It is a holy passage to the cathedral. Interesting. The spiral corridor leading to the cathedral. We're getting pretty close to the top of this tower, aren't we? Look at all the all the floors we've climbed. And now. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five starts here. Your mental powers will be truly tested here. Think hard while you challenge these areas. I'll do my best, narrator. Thank you. Nothing less than 100% of my mental effort. Now what? I can't wait to see what they're cooking up now. I love this song. It's such great background music for this game. Granted, I don't actually know the, the proper name of the song, because it's obviously uh, a famous orchestral piece. But I don't actually know it, which is which sounds pretty fraudulent if you ask me. But hey, I'm I'm trying. All right, so here is where we can do the Inazuma. That first part was already a little bit tricky, admittedly. I'm glad I kind of saw what was going on early. Ah, I should have gone the other way. Because now we're gonna have to deal with the cracked block, unfortunately. Hopefully it'll stick around just enough for us to actually make some progress. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we're fine. Alright, checkpoint, there is a spring block there, but that would lead to missing all these coins, which I'm very intrigued, uh, or very motivated to hang on to. Actually, we're gonna do this the other way. Yeah. Let's see how this works. They're obviously throwing that little bit of a curveball, right? Oops. That's not good. Should I have gone the other direction then? I don't know if that'll necessarily fix it, because we'll, I feel like we'll be locked in no matter which direction we go at some point. But maybe not. Maybe not. Because again, I could bring this out. I don't know if that'll actually even really be helpful in this scenario though, right? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Right, I got it. So the question then is, I can bring this out like this, and then push across like that. Interesting. Look at this pattern. That's really cool, actually. I really like that. And now I'm going to have to create a little bit of a bridge as well, relying on the edges to keep that in place. Plenty of coins. And now what? Ah, uh, so I think with this one, we're going to want to do the... This is basically testing a very specific technique, right? This is the four-block wide Inazuma technique. So we'll go ahead and do that. I had mentioned that I wasn't 100% confident in my ability to do this, or I hadn't been using it enough. But here we go. I'd say we're doing it pretty well for the time being. Part of what's interesting is, like, you can tell that this is a very intentional test, right? They're making sure you need to have this technique if you want to have any chance of succeeding in the future. And then, similarly, this is the 3x3 three three in Azuma. No complications, no tricky panels, it's you've got to know how to do this, right? They have the rigid blocks on the side. Saying you can't get any, I don't know, funny business with other types of blocks, you only have this field to work with. 
I don't know if there is, but I really think in this sense there should actually be some sort of technique library that you can access from your menu to review techniques. That would be really helpful, actually. But sure enough, we got through that one pretty quickly, actually. Got a nice perfect combo, so that's always good. As I expected, you survived. I knew you wouldn't die here. Yeah, I can't let you down, mysterious voice. Whoever you may be. <laughs> We've obviously figured out a lot about what's going on since the beginning of the game, but that's still something that we don't have a lot of insight into, is it? Holy cow, look at that sheep! Look <sighs> at that sheep! And is that is that who I think it is? Hey, this dream again. It looks like I've been saved. No, you haven't. Huh. I was saved thanks to you. I thought I was done for. But I remember how you cheered me on. I see. Well, by the way, my goodness. I'm gonna stop bitching about it. After all, I'm a man. You sit around for too long and I'll leave you behind. See you up above. Hey, I love the positive attitude and I'm so glad to see you again. I thought you had died. I'm gonna stop bitching about it. You sit around for too long and I'll leave you behind. Well, that's that's exciting news. And oh my goodness, we didn't see him the other night. I was scared. Great, you're safe too. Honestly, I think you're the only reason I'm alive right now. You taught me techniques. I feel confident that I can face anything now. Glad I could help. Don't let your guard down though. I feel like this is going to be a long night. Yeah, I know I know it's going to be a long night. I saw how many stages we have ahead of ourselves. Don't let your guard down though. Thank you while I still can. What? I've always looked up to you. You never give up. I've learned so much from you. I'm grateful for all you've done for me. Thank you. Well, thank me later. When we're both at the end. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you at the top. Aw, I like that. I'll see you at the top. It's a promise. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you're still okay. We've lost a lot of our comrades. Let's talk about techniques. I feel like entrusting you with them. Yeah, we need every technique we can get at this point. Let's put our heads together to survive. I'll tell you about a technique I just thought up. I'm so glad Vincent's been able to cultivate this culture of I'm teamwork. To explain the back spider. When you're hanging, you can move around to the back side of blocks. But remember, the controls are reversed if you stop while you're back there. That's the toughest part, easily. When I see you, I feel like you deserve to go further than I do. Don't give up now. Uh, hey, I thought of another technique. You can still make it. Allow me to explain the fall dodger. When you push a supporting block, quickly move to where it was to avoid being crushed by any falling blocks. It's important to avoid being smashed. I agree. Oh, Thanks, narrator. I never thought of that. Maybe you really are the man of legend. Ooh, that's exciting. That's an exciting thought. But yeah, I think we've done that fall dodger technique a little bit before then, but I've never done the back spider. I'm always so bad with the reverse controls. Let's talk about technique. It's all right, never mind. All right. <laughs> we'll talk to you in a moment. You're certainly Get something. <sighs> Here I am, again. That voice. Hey. Do I know you? My head hurts. And I believe... If we take a look at that hair, that coat, I believe this is our Johnny sheep. I've never given serious thought to death and dying. But what's Johnny doing here? If you want an item, pony up some coins. Tonight's product is... The white cube creates a block in front of you. Nah, I don't need it. Huh? You think you're window shopping or something? <laughs> I'm shocked. Of all the sheep, the merchant sheep is still up here, right? <sighs> Surviving every single night. You can't buy your way up these, I don't know, these walls. I've been running like there's no tomorrow, but who knows how long I'll last. Don't give up yet. It's not over. Yeah, I definitely know you. The way you're encouraging me, it's like deja vu all over again. From a long time ago. Man, how long was it? Oh well, I've got to start thinking ahead right now. Yep, I agree, but we'll, we'll be here to cheer you on again, Orlando. As much crap as you give us while we're at the Stray Sheep, we'll support you. <laughs> This is funny. My legs are shaking. 
Yikes. Oh, and yes, we didn't see him at the bar the other night either, but he's here. There aren't many sheep left. I bet I'm next. I can feel it. Hey, don't give up so easily. If you can't climb, I'll teach you some tricks. I'm tired of this place, but I'm also tired of reality. I'm adopted. So I'm constantly being asked to show the results of being raised by them. I lived my life for someone else. I worked hard to show that I was worthy of living. And even after all that hard work, I still can't hold on to the one woman I love. Money and power, they're obstacles to what I truly want. I don't want true freedom. I just want normal freedom everyone else has. Hmm. Just keep climbing and hope, or don't give up, follow me? Either of those seems good. I, I'd say something like, don't give up, follow me. It's a little bit more emphatic, right? And for somebody who's feeling overwhelmed, encouraging a more of a follower role would probably be more accessible but hey if you love her then don't give up you oh i remember now you told me something similar when we were kids all right i'll follow you i'll chase after you the best i can just like when we were little oh yeah let's go i love how much more optimistic everybody is this time around it's you <laughs> you're late huh I came here because you talked me into climbing up. So, uh, well, I wanted to say thanks. I see. It's good to see you. In this place, you need to kick people out of your way if you're going to survive. And yet, you bothered to help me. You're too soft. That soft guy saved your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk again up above. Yeah, all of these soft people, right, who are here now, are the ones, well, that are here right now. Let's talk again <coughs> up above. I'll get her back. Who are you? I think... I think it's three times as many as anyone else. I killed so many sheep. You're not gonna stop, are you? And I'll... It makes me excited for the hunt. Well, I'm so glad you're surviving too, <laughs> psychotic sheep. Damn it. Why did he go away all of a sudden? Where did he go? Hey, it's you. Glad you're safe today too. Damn it. Good guy, Vincent. Just watch. I'll get her back. She will be mine. Uh, it's not listening. So clearly Vincent recognizes this tie-wearing sheep as Steve, but Steve hasn't noticed Vincent. Uh, have we talked to everyone? Yeah, uh, I think we have. It's you. I'll get her back. Hey. <sighs> Gotta love all the little sound effects. I'll get her back. He doesn't seem that evil the way he talks. Wait, what is he? That evil, just just like a touch of evil. All right, well let's save, just to be safe. Of course, again, on a different save file, and head on up to the next puzzle. That was only the first stage, so probably gonna be the easiest of the night. Hey, I'm here. Hurry up and send me up. If that's what you want, then stop talking and sit down. <laughs> it's so funny. I didn't even see all those or hear all those before. I can't believe that you got to this level. Whatever. Hurry up. Yeah, you're right. Well then, we'll begin. This is <laughs> and they're like speedrunning things now. Are you able to physically punish someone if you believed it was the right thing to do? <laughs> is physical punishment acceptable? No, it's Which not. One? Even if it happened, I don't think I don't think it's the way to go. I think this there one? are very few things that come to mind where I think I would actually physically respond. Where it's like somebody, I don't know, mugging someone or something like that where I tackle them or some sort of self-defense. But but in the sense of somebody does something and then we need to which determine one? their consequence, I would never choose a physical punishment. Like spanking, for example, which um, though many which children one? go through, there's significant amount of evidence to show that it's actually detrimental and not effective. So, Damn it, I don't know. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with no, never. That's the one. Hmm. Hey, isn't this the seventh floor? If I get past this part, isn't the goal right there? Correct. This level leads directly to the cathedral. The eighth floor, the cathedral, is where you will find an end to this. And freedom. All right. I'm almost there then. I'll escape from this place as fast as I can. <laughs> I'll take you to the next level then. Catherine. Yeah, let's go, Vincent. That determination. Driving him and the other sheep to true freedom, right? 
Let's see what other people said. Surprisingly more divided, but at the same time, the answer choice, I could do that, is offering a bit of leeway, right? It's not saying, do you think it's right or wrong? It's saying, well, is there a chance that you would actually do that, right? And I think a lot of people don't see themselves in the the maybe naively optimistic sense that they would never do that, even though they know it's um, the wrong thing to do. All right, on to the next floor. What hazards await us? The following challenge stages will put your true abilities to the test. Try bringing down the house if you're facing a wall of holes. Hmm, a little hint. Fuck. I need to be careful. <laughs> Just starting off the stage with a casual F-bomb. No big deal, Vincent. Alright, so we're gonna go over and get these coins just to be safe. But this is one where we're gonna wanna do that so things fall. And then I can come up like this. The real question though is, what do I do for this? I think I can make a little stairwell, maybe? No? I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. Hmm. Okay, so that didn't work as intended. Let's go back a little bit. When we were here... That's a good way of going about getting up there. Right? So this is... I don't think it's going to be any different on this side. I'd imagine they made them symmetrical for a reason. So if I'm going to need to push that, I'll need to bring that out like this. And then I can push that over here and then up like that. Now, hmm, I'm going to have to keep pulling to make them level. But I'm never going to be able to actually get out there for that, am I? Edge. No, I'm not. So, that's still problematic, right? Hmm. Off to a great start, guys. Oh, I can just do this. <laughs> that's silly of me. However, now I'm still... Well, I'm actually, I can just push this block this way and I'll be alright. Okay, so it's interesting. They put a checkpoint here because it's actually a difficult puzzle. <laughs> the voice acting, it's not, well, maybe it is kind of bad, but it's its very out of place in my opinion. So that's not what I needed to do here. I needed to do exactly the technique, the, I forget what they called it, but there was a specific technique they mentioned. Hmm, how do I, how am I gonna handle this though? Oh, I think I need to spider across. Will that even help me though? Right, I, got it. I think I can do this and then pull this up like that. Right. So that'll bring me to a new height at least. Oh, what's going on back here? I don't know, but uh, I'm trying to get back up to where I was to no avail, unfortunately. But how am I going to want to do this? I think I can push this out like that. Hmm. The only thing is, I guess I could do this, and then there's a block back there, so I can do the back spider, I think, and then come up like that. Wow. So that was, that was pretty obtuse, if you ask me. That was definitely not a straightforward solution by any means. So we still have our remove enemies thing. And it seems we've narrowly escaped that other sheep for now. I don't really care too much about that pillow. So, for now, I'm alright with that. We'll do the whatever technique it was called again. Now what, though? Right? How can I... There's, like, not even anything I can do. Is there? Oh, no, there is. Wow, I'm... Being very silly. Okay, so I need to do this in order to actually get in here. Which is pretty difficult in and of its own right. And now I need to use that 
to bring some of these blocks outward. Hmm. Could do that, and that'll make those guys fall. I can start to sort of build up a little base in here that I could use to start pulling blocks and then eventually spider across, maybe? That might be the way to go. Hmm. That's all I can think of at the moment, at least. Is that I kind of need to consolidate these blocks. Yeah, because now that I've done that, actually, I should be in the clear because I can now spider across to the left. Yeah. Now the next question is... Can I get over there <laughs> comfortably? Do I want to do the same? Actually, I think I can. I think I can. So what I'm going to do is this. And I can do that, that, etc. But what if I come down here and push this guy all the way over that way? I think I can actually do... Oh, wait, no. Not something the exact same. Right? But pretty close. If I do this and then pull this over that way, and then push that like that, I should be able to do it again. Mm, or maybe not. But I'm so close. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna go back a little bit further, because I didn't want this block to fall in the first place. So, what I think I'm gonna do... Oh, I can't really... Hmm... How do I want to do this, guys? Something like this, maybe? I really want to get that gold. This is how I do it. Wow. So those... Those puzzles are tough. The ones where it's just a diamond and the only movable blocks are inside it. Because the whole point of the puzzle is to try to create a platform you can use to spider to the outside of the diamond. But they are... They're tough. They're tough, at least in my opinion. Maybe some of you guys are sitting there like, I hope you can keep this up. What's he sweating about, right? <laughs> but yeah, hey, if that's the case, I mean, power to you. Oh, I was wondering why them that music started again. I was like, are we just going straight into the next Damn one or what? Damn it. How dare she go to some young bastard? Hey, it's you. Just watch. I'll get her back. She will be mine. Hey, what happened? Yeah, what happened, man? You're really fixated on this. It's not my fault. What's the matter? I can hear her voice. Why did you leave me? She's the one who left me. Huh. So we're getting a little bit of insight into Orlando's relationship history. I'm the one who was left. If you want an item, pony up some coins. Tonight's product is... The black cube creates a dark block in front of you. Nah, I don't need it. Huh? You guys are probably so sick of me talking to the merchant and the merchant saying the same thing every single night, but I want to make sure there's no missable dialogue. I don't think that it is here yet. You told me that your wife is the one who appears, right? That's right. Sophie. I'm the one who killed her. I was working a case, and the criminal at the center of the case decided to send me a message by killing Sophie. We had a fight that day. And the last thing I said to her was, Get out. She didn't die instantly, but she didn't make it. I wonder what she was thinking in those last hours she had. Maybe... Maybe if I told her that I loved her instead of get out, maybe she would still be alive. Your will to live is much stronger if you know that somebody loves you, isn't it? Don't blame yourself like that. I've said too much. Go. The road is long. Wow, that's incredibly depressing. What a sad story, right? I know that there's a saying to never go to sleep mad at somebody, right? And that's why. 
you they may not they might not wake up the next day and you the last thing you want is to end things on such a negative note i've said too much go the road wow can't even i can't even imagine i think i may have killed too many of them dude if you come near me while i'm climbing i'm pushing your crazy ass off <laughs> Good for you. The fight to the death sounds fun too. Damn it. I wonder if we like actually run into him on the on the climb, right? We see these aggressive sheep, but we haven't seen this specific one. Come on, let's start climbing. I want to see more blood. That's pretty creepy. Yo, you guys are safe. Watching you climb has given me some ideas. It looks like the big one isn't coming yet. You okay? Yeah. The huge monsters really get to you, don't they? In my case, that's my dad. My father was a great man. He built a fortune with his own two hands. He was a real man, always surrounded by women. He always told me to be like him, but I was a failure to my dad. Everything I did just pissed him off. I was hit, kicked, ignored, and in the end, I was abandoned. I managed to make ends meet and came this far. Seriously? I'm probably still looking for him to acknowledge me, to love me, to forgive me. The passion to reach the top, to be with women. God, I'm just mimicking my goddamn father. I wanted to be like my dad, and for him to recognize me and my existence. You don't say. I... I'm a bit like you. I see. All right, I'll talk to you up above. Keep climbing, and meet you later. You got it. I love how supportive these people are, talking to each other about their traumatic experiences and offering what they can in terms of support to each other to get through, to keep climbing. It's it's very encouraging. And poor Todd, right? Poor Todd who went through all of that abuse and unfortunately in the hopes of, I guess, living up to whatever expectations, putting an end to the abuse, not I guess limiting that negative gaze that he's been cast from his father throughout his whole life, he's become his abuser. And that's that's the sad part of the sad cycle of abuse. Everyone's insecure, even when you're older and grown up. Ain't that the truth? I'm not the only one being tied down by something here. Yeah. Glad you guys are sticking together. Is this my punishment for betraying my best friend? What? Consider giving up so many times, but I can't. Uh, hey, Johnny, what, what do you mean by betraying your best friend? And please don't give up. Forgive me. Hmm, that's not good. Uh, I think the pieces of the puzzle are starting to come together. You're Vincent, aren't you? You're always a strange man. I figured it out from watching you talk to the other sheep. I wanted to become like you. Like me? You always listen to other people's problems, just like you do now. And eventually, they'd forget their problems, change the subject, and laugh all their worries away. I was laughing too, behind you. It was comforting being around you. That's what I just remembered. <laughs> I don't remember anything like that happening. When I first ended up in here, I thought I wouldn't mind dying. My life had been an empty 32 years. I figured I'd live too long. Then I met you again. You encouraged me in the bar. And here, thanks. You've inspired me to keep going. I'll see you again. It's a promise. Aw, that's so sweet. Thank you, Daniel. Thanks. You've inspired me to keep going. I'll see you again. It's a promise. It's so <sighs> heartwarming. The landings have so much positive energy now. Normally it's just so hopeless, right? Sorry. I don't have any more techniques to tell you. I don't have the will to go on either. Hey, hey, man. There's a girl I've been seeing for several years, but I've never worked up the nerve to bite the bullet and marry her. Well, me too. I don't even know where my life's going, and to add marriage on top of that it just stresses me out. <laughs> Maybe we're alike. I've got a heavy cross to bear. I can't share that burden with the one I love. So, I should split up with her, but I can't. I'm a weakling and a liar. Cross. I don't need freedom. I just want punishment. It's the truth. I'm tired. I can't think of any more techniques. 
Oh, hang on, I just thought of something. Have you heard this one? Come on, Justin, hang with us. Keep going. Allow me to explain the marching spider. If you're trapped, try pushing out blocks to make new footing. As you connect more blocks to it, all you have to do is hang and move. Wow, I see. You're just incredible. Seeing you makes me remember something important. The passion I once had when I was just starting my reporting career. Back then, I believed I could save people. Aren't you doing that right now? With your techniques? I don't know. But it looks like I have no choice but to move ahead. Yeah, that's it. It's the truth, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. I love that. I love that moment Vincent finally turns the tables and is using it's the truth against it's the truth man, Justin himself. I feel really sad for Justin. You're running out of techniques, feeling somewhat hopeless. In a similar situation to Vincent, feeling stuck, unable to move on with his life. And, well, I'm hoping he hangs in there with us. Let's review your technique. No, I'm, I'm good on the reviewing. I suggested it. But that technique is also one that I believe we actually used, right, in this past puzzle. Someone in the real world put me in here? What the hell does he want with me? Yeah, that's interesting. And I still think we have a little bit of time. Something that's actually really nice about this so far is that, well, the puzzles haven't been incredibly long, right? Each night, it's not a mountain of a... Oh, it's not a real mountain we're climbing. It's really just 30, 40 block levels, right? And the puzzles themselves are intense, but it's not like a real marathon by any means. Hey, I'm here. I see you. Take a seat. <sighs> I knew you'd come. I'm not surprised anymore. Any sheep who made it this far wouldn't die so easily now. This is the twelfth question. Is there more to a man-woman relationship than physical differences? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, some people Which might try one? to get incredibly, maybe scientific slash analytical and say that humans are just animals that aren't, in, aren't incredibly more complex and attraction only comes down to physical attraction or some, you know, biochemical sensation. And maybe oh, no. that's somewhat true, but it, I'm fairly confident there's more to that. Right? Um, I, I mean, I guess Which humans one? aren't also the only monogamous uh, species or type of animal, and so these types of relationships might manifest this in one? other animals. So maybe humans aren't unique in it, but I do think, well, I, I guess from my experience, I personally think there's oh, no. absolutely more than physical attraction. So, and I think most people would actually agree with that. Hmm, I see. So oh, that's your selection. All right, let me say this, just so you'll understand. If you're able to pass the next trial, the cathedral awaits you. I must say, you honestly have a chance of making it. I've been set on that since the beginning. More than that, do you remember what I told you before? The path of freedom will be open to those who reach the holy pinnacle. If you make it, what kind of freedom would you want? What do you mean? It's all so clear to me. I finally know what's truly important. I was afraid because a lot was going on. But now I want the freedom to gain what I know matters. That's why I have to get out of here. <laughs> How determined. See. Let's hurry then. There's still more levels on this floor. What resolve. So strong. But yeah, I, I feel like everybody would acknowledge that physical attraction is a important component right of relationships maybe even especially in the beginning but to argue it's the only component it's a bit tough okay yeah look at that <laughs> look at that yeah I'm, I'm honestly still even surprised by the size of that slice that just says you know humans are just animals so how many stages left oh wow we've already completed two so we have this one and then one more and then the door right the boss the trial stages continue on. Some locations will allow you to change your path. Choose the one that makes for an easier climb. Easier said after having tried to climb those sections, right? Looks like I still have a ways to go. I don't have a choice. Commencing area three. Are you ready? All right. So how do we want to start this? 
let's build ourselves a little platform over here. And that way we can build a nice little staircase. Although, now we're a little bit out of luck, aren't we? I could do this, and I think that will give me the flexibility I need to go up further by doing a little bit of the Inazuma technique. Yeah, I think I can do this and then, then push it out, actually. And... Hmm. Well, that's not exactly <laughs> as much of a fix as I had anticipated. But it's not the end of the world. We can set up two blocks here like this, and then pull one out to get across. Okay! So things are definitely getting a little bit more complex, obviously. Both those should be able to stick around. And similar experience again to what was going on below. So I think what I'll do is pull this guy out, and then I can pull this guy out, and this. Is there something more I want to do? No, I think I'm okay for now, because we can just build a stairwell like this. Oh, and wow, they, they're really not hiding the fact that you can choose two different paths. Obviously the one with the coins is going to be tougher, but we need those coins, so that's what we're going to do. Thing. What's interesting is we're not really going to be able to do the Inazuma here, right? The Inazuma. Because we're not going to be able to pull that other block across, which may prove somewhat problematic. However, I can pull that that way to build a little bit of a staircase. Oh, and what, there are coins on the other side too? I don't like that. Hold on a minute. So, we'll, let's see if we can rejoin. We can, nice. Oh, we're already close to the end, actually? Alright, so I think we're good. That gives us an item, but I'm not too concerned about that. So, we are in the clear. I already hear the bell. Oh, there it is. So, how are we going to want to do this? I should not have done that, because now my combo is not going to refresh for quite some time. Because what I'm going to have to do, probably, is progressively shift this whole structure over. Like so. I think this will do it, actually. Yeah! Wow, so another very short puzzle, but we made it through pretty cleanly. Nice! And I think we got all the coins, too, so that should be good. You're becoming an old hand at this. <laughs> Again, I do like the fast pace of these floors. I was very concerned that, you know, this would take like five episodes to do because really long puzzles and, you know, five floors or five stages in the night. But no, it's, it's going quite well. <gasps> Our merchant friend. Our merchant friend. We can see the coins. Why are the coins here, but he's not? Did he fall off? Did he roll off? <laughs> what happened? I saw that sheep who was selling stuff fall into the darkness. Seriously? I think all his money was too heavy for him. He was surrounded by a cloud of coins as he fell, shining brilliantly in the light. He looked like a shooting star. <laughs> it's a pretty funny analogy, but there's a... Uh... There's some pretty blunt metaphor going on, right? All of his money weighed him down, was too heavy from him. It's clear that he wasn't able to make it to true freedom and progress because of his obsession with money. Wealth won't save your life here. You have to climb. Ugh. The trials here are just like life. Walking a tightrope, chasing the thinnest sliver of hope. And if you slip up, it's all over. But now, I know why I must live. Hmm? Why is that? I used to live my life for someone else, but now I'm living for myself. And the one thing I want to do most is to love Anna. Living is quite simple, but we make it complicated. Now that I've come to these realizations, I can climb with everything I've got. I'm not the powerless me, the one that was chained down by other people's expectations. I can forge my own way now. I'll see you again, Vincent. That's it, Daniel. Let's do our best. 
Aw, uh, yeah. Let's go, Daniel. Daniel has his own resolve now. He's understood what was keeping him, or was holding him back in the past, and is now ready to move on forward to a different person. Vincent. That's it, Daniel. Let's do our best. I appreciate that they talk to each other by name here. I bet I'll see her again today. Who? My wife. Who left. She left me. After my business failed. And now she says she wants me to come back. Is she mocking me? That's her fault for betraying me. At least, that's what I told myself. I couldn't face going back to an empty home. Oh. And even then, I could hear her crying. And I knew it was me who was being selfish. And it's my fault she's not with me. I can't ask her to start over with me. How pathetic. You're not pathetic. Interesting. So, so it makes it seem that maybe when Orlando talks to other people, or even in his own mind, right, he's framing this as my business failed and she left me, but maybe there's something deeper for the reason she left, right? Maybe it wasn't the business. Maybe that was the final straw, but it's clear that, well, I don't know. Orlando had more prominent a role in it. I think I've said more here than I ever have outside. Forget what I said. Well, we're gonna forget anyway, right? <laughs> so, that's a little bit of a plot hole, I think. Uh, because, well, actually, do the sheep here have memories of what goes on in real life? Yeah, I've been honest. Because if we forget everything that happens in here, you'd have to be aware of what happens in real life to realize you've forgotten something, right? How can you realize what you've forgotten if you were supposed to have, well, forgotten it? Well, actually, you can be cognizant of something just not registering in your memory, right? Like, I forgot where my keys are, and I know that I've forgotten them, even though I don't know, well, where they are. But, hmm, I'm gonna think on that. <laughs> Would the sheep be able to know that in the morning they're going to lose their memories? Interesting. You guys let me know what you guys think about it. I don't want to steal her from him, but I love her. I can't do anything about it. If that's a crime, then this is my punishment. And I just have to accept it. Are you alright? I'm gonna keep climbing. I'm sorry for talking so much. You go on. Interesting. He doesn't want to steal her from him. From who? <laughs> who is Johnny stealing? I'm going to. To put an end to this. Well, I mean, I'm, I guess I'm glad to hear you're going. <sighs> I hear rumors that cheating men are sent here. I wonder why I'm here. I've never cheated on my wife while she was alive. Maybe it's because I've been woman crazy these days. What? As long as she has at least one thing that reminds me of my wife. Hair, voice, anything. I can't resist her. I just can't bear to think that I've completely lost her. Even though it's already been six years. You see? The criminal still hasn't been caught, but I was tired of looking. I thought I'd be able to die and rest, but you came along. You wouldn't let me die. You're too nice, or strange. Come on, let's go. I want to make use of the life that you've given me. I'll see you again if I can. That's the yeah. spirit. It's a deal. Take advantage, use that life that you've been given. It is interesting to think though, right? He never cheated. So how, so what's actually the underlying thread between all of these people? It can't be just cheating, though cheating clearly plays a role in the framework. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Let's see, let's talk to uh -huh. Justin. Something big's going to be coming again today, huh? In my case, the big ones. The girl who committed suicide because of me. She wrote in her suicide note that she thanked me. No one blamed me. Being tormented by her here is actually something of a relief. That's... No, really. Seeing you has changed the way I think. While everybody else is busy saving themselves, you've been cheering them on and giving them advice. You made me remember that words can save somebody. If I can get out of here, I'm going to start writing again. This time, I hope I can save someone myself. I see. Aww. Sorry, I'm babbling. I want to settle some things with myself. Will this technique be of use to someone? Allow me to explain bracing. 
If moving the block you want will cause other blocks to fall, add more support with another block first. Once the other blocks are held up, you can move your target block without worrying about the others falling. I've got another one too. Allow me to explain uprooting. When an unmovable block stands in your way, try moving the blocks below it. With that immobile block out of your way, you can create your own path. I'm not going to look away anymore. I'm not going to run away from living. It's the truth. I got it. I'll see you later, okay? It's a promise. <laughs> awesome. Love and the energy. Also, those techniques are very advanced. The uprooting one and I'm trying to remember what the first one was. What was the first one? Short-term memory loss, am I right? I don't even remember what the first one was. You want to review the Actually, I do want to review the techniques this time. This technique? So this technique is what? Allow me to explain oh, bracing. bracing. Yeah, so bracing is really difficult, right? You have to plan which blocks you want to fall in the exact manner that they will. If moving so you've got to be, you have to have a really good grasp on what blocks do I move, and if I move them, how are they going to fall? And once they do fall, is that going to be a path that I can use to get to where I want to go? That's really difficult, so. the truth. I'm sure of it. Oh, did he just say that we're going to be the man of legend? It's the truth? That's a little bit different dialogue. Sorry, I skipped through that. Hey, you're safe. Thanks to you. Looks like it's above us. Tell us about the things you've been facing. Letting these things out makes you stronger. Telling us will make you more determined to climb. <sighs> Shout out to therapy. My mother. Every night. I ran away from my mother a long time ago. My mother loved me dearly. Not as a son, but as a man. Holy fuck. I was locked in the cellar for years. The only living thing I saw was mother. I found an opening and ran away, naked as a newborn. I've been running since. The thought that all women could be like her, it scares me, it makes me sick. And in the end, I clung to that fear. I started relationships, used women for money and gifts, then dumped them and ran. I did it over and over again. I, I can't live anymore. Damn it, you fool. Why didn't you say anything earlier? I could have protected you. Huh? Do you think I don't know how you feel? You really want to forgive her, don't you? But you can think about that later. For now, just climb and survive. Got that? Promise me. Okay. Look at them supporting each other. Vincent didn't even jump in there, right? Uh, but Todd and Archie sticking together strong. But also, holy crap! <laughs> the intensity of the trauma that Archie went through. That sounds horrific, right? Absolutely terrible. I, I can't even imagine again. But now we're starting to understand just how deeply scarred these individuals are, right? And I think, well, I'll talk about it more later, but um, as, a, as a separate aside, yes, talking about these things is a great decision and making sure you have somebody to talk to about whatever problem you may have, whether it's as intense a problem as some of these individuals are facing or something significantly smaller. If it's impacting your life, it's helpful to have somebody to talk to you about it. It's a bad time for everybody. That's why you gotta just accept it. In life, you're your own best friend. Believe in yourself. You can make it. Yeah. Believe in the me yeah. that believes in you. Uh, Shout out to those who get the reference. I really want to forgive her. Uh, I see. See, it's helpful to talk to other people who have processed similar, although never back. quite the same trauma. Just watch. I'll get her back. She will be mine. Hey, are you alright? No, I don't think so. <laughs> what does he want from me asking all those weird questions? Is he really judging men? Maybe. But... I'll get her back. Anyways, it seems like our sheep are doing pretty well. The, the merchant is gone. The oh, insane, crazy, killer, psycho sheep is gone. But... Otherwise, our friends are still struggling with quite a lot, but they are bo they're bonding together. They're banding together and progressing forward, which is exactly what we would have wanted. Now, I will say that we're going to complete the next floor and probably the final stage of this night in the next episode and see what happens with Vincent's newfound resolve, what these other sheep do with their newfound resolve. And, oh man, oh man, am I excited. I hope you guys are too. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero. And this mission 
is complete.